Hey, Green Cheek Chick here, and uh, today we're going to go see my aquatics and miscellaneous pets that I haven't shared with you guys yet. So, here we go. Okay, so here is one of my 20 gallon longs. Um, I thought we'd start here because this has my female betas in here. And I have six in here, six girls. Oh, focus. And all of these plants in here are real except for the ones attached to this log here. And I also have two neurite snails. One snail here. And the other one is over here. It does not want to focus. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, that's my female beta tank. Uh, their female beta tanks are usually called sororities, so this is my sorority of female betas. And I don't have names for them yet. I probably will name them sometime, but I've had them for a while and I still don't really have names for them. This is my oldest girl back there hiding. I bred myself, and she's the only one left of her spawn from three years ago, I think. So she's she's about three then, and probably about ready to pass soon, I would think. She's not as active as she used to be, and... She's always kind of had a swim bladder problem where she doesn't get to the top very often. I mean, she she she's always been good about it, but it's just getting harder for her, I think. But she's always done good in a sorority setting, so I've always kept her in this tank. But anyways, I'm rambling about it. Next tank. Okay, this is my second 20 gallon long tank. And it has one of my, actually, he is my only male beta right now. And he's a crown tail, blue and orange finned. And then I recently got some German blue rams, which you can see one of them right there. And I have four of them in here. And then also I have a albino bristlenose placosimus in here, a young one, but I'm not seeing him or her right now, I don't know. But I've been really excited about this tank because I've been wanting to keep these German Blue Rams for a very long time and I finally ordered some a couple days, well, I ordered them last week and they just came in the mail two days ago. So they're still settling in and kind of hiding still. Um, the only life plants I have in this tank are these three crypts and this banana plant that doesn't look like it, it's going to survive, but... <laughs> oh, and the java moss. Java moss does great in any, any tank. Oops, I meant to zoom out. Yeah, that's... That's my second 20 gallon long tank. Let's move on to the rest of them. Okay, so this is my third and final 20 gallon long tank, and it contains two Dalmatian molly fry. Here's one right here. And the other one, oh, right here. He's kind of black, so he's hard to see. 
plus there's a reflection, sorry. And then this tank also has an albino bristlenose placosimus. He's right back there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, by the way. And then this tank also has three scarlet red gem baddies that I ordered along with the German blue rams that I have upstairs. And ooh, there is one of them right there. Oh, please focus. And they are a lot tinier than I thought they would be, but I thought they would be fun to keep with the German Blue Rams, but since they're so tiny, I was afraid that they would get eaten by them and the beta, so I put them down here in this tank with these fry. And then down below is one of my, well, the only 10 gallon tank I have up and running right now, and Yes, there's algae growing on the side, and that doesn't really do anything to the fish, but this has some baby sword tail fry in here. I did have their mom in here as quarantine for a couple months because my fish did get ick a while back, and she was the only one that didn't seem to be doing good to go back in the big tank, so I kept her in here, and then like a week ago I noticed she had babies so I put her into the big tank and apparently that in combination with having babies and stuff she didn't make it much longer after that which is kind of sad but we have her babies then to grow out and put back into the big tank when they are full grown And so then that brings us to the big 125 gallon tank. This tank, I don't even know how many of these mollies are in here because they are babies that were born in here and, and um, kind of hid within the java moss down here. And... Um, so I haven't really been able to get an official count, but I think there's like eight or nine, maybe ten of these mollies, and I'm thinking maybe this one was the mom, but I'm not sure because I had a couple other ones that were like this one that had given birth and then died on me, which I'm still, well... They did go through that ick episode, I guess, so that could have been why. But this is one of my original females that I had gotten. So I'm thinking she was the mom. And then I do have six of these Cory cats. Peppered Cory cats. You can't really see them against the glare and the gravel. See if I can find one again. They usually like, oh, like that one. I think that might have been a baby that was actually born in here. Because I don't think I ever bought a tiny one like that. And then, of course, we have <laughs> at least two full grown male swords. I don't know why they're so shy, but they're a lot shyer than the Mollies. And then two juvenile swords like this one. And I'm not sure where the other one is. Oh, he's over here schooling with the mollies. She, she's probably, it's probably a she. And then I also have a clown placosimus in here that usually likes to hang out over here. But I don't see him right now or her, so. Oh yeah, and um. All of these tanks besides the 20 long with the Beta and German Blue Rams have these Ram's Horn Snails. 
I used to think that they were called ramshorn, so I almost say that like every time I talk about them, but yeah, I have these things throughout the whole tank, and which is okay, because they eat algae and stuff, but they're kind of an overpopulate and get their dead shells piling up in corners like over there and but anyways they're fine so that is all of my fish um my miscellaneous pet since he's not or she I'm not really sure if it's a he or she is an aquatic or considered a reptile then he's that's why he's miscellaneous but my hermit crab tank and I did used to have three but my two originals died I don't know if it's because this one his his her name is um, drip drop um, they have killed them when they were trying to molt down in the substrate or something but I don't know but anyway that's that's drip drop and this is his or her tank um, I'm not sure because I originally had a male and a female um, Ecuadorian like what drip drop is but the one had was too stressed and didn't make it through its first molt so yeah this one drip drop has been in here since then about a year actually more than a year yeah I've had you more than a year haven't I yeah that's let's trip drop so that brings us to my other miscellaneous pets which would be my cats this is Milo hi Milo He is three years old, along with his brother over here. And this is Loki. Hi, Loki. <laughs> what do you think? This is Loki. They just showed up on my doorstep one day, and nobody claimed them, so we're thinking they were probably... Oh, are you going to come join? Hi Milo. Anyways, so we think that they were probably just dropped off here and that's how they came here, I guess. We we assume that they're brothers because um yeah, I think you can see why. And they were around the same age and they stayed together. And yeah, so that's Milo and Loki. Um, Loki actually had hurt his left left knee. I have no idea what he did to it, but he about a year ago, and now he he still kind of has a limp. But it's basically he gave himself arthritis in his knee. I don't know if he'll kind of walk so you can kind of see or not. Stretch. No, he's going to lay back down. Okay. Yeah, I wish I would have known what he did because then I could prevent it from ever happening again, but that's how things go sometimes, I guess. And so he'll have arthritis in his leg in his knee for the rest of his life if it ever gets to the point where he never uses it and it pains him then we'll have it amputated but for now it's fine he doesn't really bother it other than the limp that he has when he walks right and you know I'm talking about you but yeah that is the rest of my pets that I have um, Thanks for watching, and um, see you in the next video, I guess. Bye!